Hello and welcome to Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning, and this is Mono Lake. Mono Lake is renowned as one of the oldest lakes in North America, having formed at least 760,000 years ago, and was probably part of a much larger chain of lakes long before that. It is perhaps most famous for its large concentration of tufa, like this, which is deposited underwater in highly alkaline waters by rising spring water that carries minerals like calcium carbonate, which then lithifies and solidifies into tufa, like this. Several kinds of tufa abound here. Sand tufa, which is the most recent, forms as water rises through sand. The oldest kind is this gray one, which formed at least during the last ice age. The inner gray tufa was formed during the last ice age when waters were much higher and much less saline and alkaline. But this outer tufa was formed in the last few centuries as it's much wider and more porous because the waters are more alkaline so it deposits faster. Also interesting about Mono Lake are the two islands in the middle, the dark one, Negat Island, and the light island, Pahoa Island. Pahoa Island was formed only about 350 years ago as magma welled up underneath it and pushed it above the surface of the lake. And the dark island in the distance, Negat Island, was formed from cinder eruptions in the last thousand years. Mono Lake is increasingly alkaline as the water level has been dropping since the city of Los Angeles has been diverting its water for municipal use. The lake level has dropped about 50 feet since Los Angeles took all the water rights and has been fluctuating considerably since then. Usually there's about 10% dissolved salts in the water, which is about five times more than the ocean. This has been Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning. Thanks for watching.